What color light is best for a saltwater aquarium? Most saltwater aquariums you'll see will have a bluish glow ranging from cold white all the way to a very deep blue, and there's a good reason for that. Blue light plays a role in both the aesthetics of the aquarium and its inhabitants, as well as the growth of photosynthetic corals, anemones, and other marine organisms. But why blue? Can you use just blue? Is all blue light the same? And most importantly, are your eyes telling you the whole story? Also, I'm going to give you a great resource on all aspects of reef lighting in just a little bit, so stick around. The color of light we most often see used on modern saltwater aquariums is definitely on the blue side. Not completely blue, but usually a very bluish white. In many cases, this is because bluish light tends to do the best job of showing off the colors of fish and corals from those tropical marine habitats and reminds us of the teal coastal waters that we picture when we're thinking about those natural environments. But that blue light is for more than just looks, and to better understand how the color of light affects our aquariums, we need to look at the spectrum of light using a spectrometer, because admittedly, our eyes are a pretty terrible tool for measuring light. On the packaging and marketing materials for the vast majority of lights in the aquarium hobby, you'll see a chart that looks like this. This shows us the composition of the light that the fixture is going to provide, both in the visual spectrum between 400 and 600 nanometer wavelengths, as well as UV and infrared. Most of our aquarium lights will focus on that visual spectrum since visible light has two peaks or points where photosynthesis can take place most efficiently. And one of those points is in, you guessed it, the blue spectrum. And when it comes to saltwater aquariums and corals, we tend to focus on blue light because many corals are adapted to using blue light for photosynthesis. Especially corals found lower down on the reefs since red light is filtered out by water fairly quickly. Blue and also violet light make our corals as well as many other marine organisms fluoresce or glow a rainbow of stunning colors, which makes it another fantastic way to appreciate the beauty of our aquariums. The tricky part is that while I can tell you how a light is going to look to our eyes roughly based on a chart like this, inversely, if I was looking at a blue light source, I could not tell you or say for certain what that light's spectral chart would look like because our eyes just aren't able to see the composition of light in the same way as a spectrometer. I wouldn't be able to tell you if there was a particular wavelength missing or if that particular blue light source would be any good for providing the energy required for photosynthesis. So just because a light looks blue to our eyes doesn't mean it'll be good for our reef tanks. And that's why we have to pick a light with the right spectrum and why a generic blue floodlight for lighting up your lawn won't work for a reef aquarium, while a whiter looking light that's designed to grow corals will, even though it doesn't appear very blue to our eyes. Thankfully, the vast majority of aquarium lights that are available to us today have a lot of research and development go into them. That way, they're able to provide the right spectrum of light for coral growth and coloration, whether the light appears more blue or more white. So focusing on getting a good light fixture from a reputable manufacturer that lots of other aquarium hobbyists have already had a lot of success with is more important than just picking a light that provides a specific color to our eyes. Most LED fixtures that are available for our saltwater tanks will allow you to change the way the light looks. That way you can tune how blue or white it appears to suit your personal preference while still making sure that your corals, fish, and other inhabitants are getting what they need to thrive. There are really only three things that matter when it comes to reef tank lighting, and Ryan's gonna break them all down for you in this five minute guide right here. So yeah. Lighting doesn't have to be complicated. Just focus on those three things and you'll be set. Also, if you really like to geek out with lighting and wanna learn everything you can, the rest of that Lighting Master Series playlist is phenomenal, so have a watch.